Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Rebel Inc. Escalation official scenarios. The last video I did in this series, The Insurgents on a Tank, uh, I created a cheesy strategy that worked amazingly well until the developers saw said video and patched it so it no longer works. So I am well aware that my strategy from the last video no longer works here, but that said, we've already seen this scenario. You have an idea how it works, just understand it's a heck of a lot harder than it was before. Speaking of a really hard scenario, let's move on to the next one, Evolving Insurgency, where the insurgents develop new tactics and there is an element of randomness that is really, really unpleasant to deal with. I am going to go for, believe it or not, the tank command... No, I'm not. I'm going to go for the smuggler. <laughs> I was thinking about it for a split second, and then I just... I got cold feet. We're not doing that. Smuggler will be fine. We'll call this one liquid air. And the way this is going to work is just like in a campaign where you and the insurgents will gain various different perks to make every map harder and easier in certain ways, the insurgents are going to gain some random perks. That could include such things as the ability to cross over rivers, reinforce each other, uh, increase the cooldown for airstrikes, become invisible, split whenever you defeat them, those kinds of things. There's a bunch of them, and it's random what you get. Which is why this scenario is really frustrating, because on Mega Brutal Difficulty, you're kind of luck dependent as far as getting some easy to deal with perks, as opposed to some really difficult ones. And it just so happens we're also playing on what is arguably the hardest map of the game anyway. So, I mean, it's just... it's just rough. The good news is we get to develop some of our own tactics in order to try and counter theirs under the Military tab. We have community support to increase support level. We have managed economy to keep corruption and inflation under control. And we have budget reallocation, which decreases the budget we gain from reputation, but increases it from stability. Good in the mid game, terrible in the early game. Um, I think these two are both acceptable. Community support's great in order to increase support in individual zones. Managed economy prevents you from getting out of control on corruption, which lets you get more units a little bit faster. So there's something to be said about that. I'm not sure I love it, but it's it could work. It could work for us. Let's go for district representatives, effective procurement. We'll go for education, grab some intelligence, and let's see what their first perk is going to be before I commit any more resources. They got relentless assault. They are going to attack more frequently. Oh, good. Super aggressive insurgents. All right. But now I can go for one of my own. We can go for managed economy. Now, notice by picking this up, we have locked out the other two options. You only get to pick one for every tactic the insurgents have developed. And the longer the scenario goes on, the more tactics they gain, which opens up more options for me. And a second tier of tactics are going to open up eventually. So we can still go back and get some of these later if we want to. But right now, I'm happy with what we've got. Let's keep that corruption under control. As the smuggler, I like corruption, but I'm also going to be uh, training national soldiers very quickly, which means, well, lots and lots of corruption, and it can get a little bit out of control at some point if you're not ready for it. Let's go ahead and get that universal justice. We do want to get the PR and media office up pretty soon as well. What are people asking for? Electricity and highways. I do think roads are critical on this map. I would love to have such things as electricity for people, but... We really, really need to be able to move around rapidly, especially if they start picking up different tactics that make it really difficult to contain. So let's go for some regular roads. I'll probably go for something like highways after that. That's completely fine with me. We need to stabilize our capital, which unfortunately is requesting electricity. Darn it. All right, we have to get electricity. I need to get at least a couple of zones stabilized early on, or we're going to have a really, really big problem. Now, they've already spawned some of the insurgents. I have no idea where their camp's going to be. We're going to get some intelligence based on where they attack me next. So let's see what's going to happen in just a moment. Okay, right here. Okay, so there's a few places this could be. Camp could be on them. Could be here, could be here, could be here, could be here. So five different zones it could be in right now. That's not very helpful, is it? No. We do need to get some coalition soldiers. I'm going to cut corners, which allows me to train up some new national soldiers fast. Because we're going to need that. We desperately need to get lots of bodies on the ground. There's the camp. Okay. So we can move here and we can try, hopefully, to get in here and destroy it before they move over into the zone and prevent any additional spawns. There's always a second camp that spawns on Mega Brutal Difficulty, though, and that's another thing you really need to knock out as fast as you can. So let's keep an eye out for their next attack. It's going to hit me soon. There it is. There's the camp. It's right next to me. Let's go for another Coalition Soldier. And this one we can get to quickly, and we can knock out this camp as long as they don't send reinforcements, which they did not, thank God. All right. This is a good start so far. So far. It could change, but at least for the moment, we're looking okay. I need to get that support level up nice and high. We already have the electricity. Let's go for the highways. Start rolling some of that out. Camp's going to go, and with the camp gone, I'm okay with them staying in these mountains. It doesn't bother me. 
We're going to move elsewhere and maybe try to push these guys out of the mountains into a corner. Is that another camp? Or is that just a weird little... I think it's a rock. I think it's a rock. Let's go for some more national soldiers. I would like to have at least four to try and start clearing out some of these groups as quick as we can while these guys do their thing. Let's move you here, for example. And try to force them to go into one particular zone, which is exactly what they've done. They've actually done that regardless. Okay. Move you here, then, actually. Move you here. It'll take a little while to get there. National soldiers. We can clear out this group, and with these guys gone, hopefully I can then focus on controlling the mountains. Now, they got another tactic. What'd they get? Insurgents increase in number whenever I flee in combat. That's actually one of the better ones, because ideally, I don't have to flee in combat. Hopefully. So, uh, we'll see. That might work out nicely. I would love to get garrisons going. This is a bad spot, though. I'm going to reject it because they're about to take this zone, and I'm not going to be able to take it over. These guys are cleared out. Excellent. We now move over here and over here. We're going to clear out this zone, and then we're going to move here and over here, and we're going to try to keep these guys contained and stabilize some zones as quick as we can. What else do people want? Security? Well, I do agree that that would be helpful, but I'm not sure it's the priority. I think it's more important that we start getting some more corruption reduction, if possible. These guys hopefully can take this out. Prevent them from going anywhere else. So this will be fine. Got this. All right, we got a fair bit of money we're sitting on right now. Um, let's go for some more corruption reduction. If I can get local police recruitment, it would make my life easier. It would be good to get. Um, we're probably going to want a soldier over here and one here. And with this, until they get a perk that lets them cross the river, we've got them under control. We're going to increase uh, pay for the soldiers, since that is a thing that was demanded. A garrison right here is a great location. That'll help. All right, what else do we want to get? So we can get another perk right now, because they have another one. Uh, we could go for suppressing fire, which increases the strength of national soldiers by a lot if coalition soldiers are the ones supporting them. We can go for an extra coalition soldier. We can go for an all-terrain tank that fights everywhere. I'm going to go for the all-terrain tank. Yes, that upsets people, but I'm okay with it, I think. Let's, well, let's see. Hang on. You said it's all-terrain. I can go anywhere. Let's move you here for a second. Hang on. Attach, and then move here. I don't know why I couldn't apply the tank here, but it can go in the forest. I know it can. Dirt roads are in high demand right now. Uh, it's not... It's not great, but all right, we'll get it. Now, they're coming down over here. This is what I did not want to see. Let's get some reinforcements. And just move you here for the moment. We can move around pretty quickly over here right now, which is really good. We could use the tank and actually start being aggressive, because tanks are great. Stabilizing one zone is going to prevent the lack of from stability from uh, jumping up too quickly. If we have a second or a third zone on its way, that'd be even better. They're nowhere close. Okay. Well, we're not going to get there fast enough then. Um, telecoms would be pretty helpful. Let's go ahead and pick up a level of that, since I think we're in an okay spot right now. Here are some reinforcements, which should hopefully allow us to win this fight. They're moving over here. That's fine. We're ready for them. We just got to win this. If I need airstrikes, I can get airstrikes, but I'd really rather not. We're going to need police recruitment, since people have asked for it. It lets us stabilize zones faster. Plus, wherever we get that, of course, we can prevent them from uh, taking over zones as quickly. Catastrophic decrease in support level. That's really bad on Mega Brutal difficulty, because uh, we can't stabilize with catastrophic reductions in support level. It's really bad. Really bad. Temporary crackdown in corruption doesn't do me a lot of good. Let's see, what are our other options? Gain money over time for national soldiers, but increase corruption, blah, blah, blah. Could go for another rollout right now. We could get the community support to try and counteract what they did, or I can double up on something like suppressing fire. That said, what are we looking at right now? Corruption, lack of stability. We're actually sort of okay right now, and I mean sort of. I think we want to get more corruption reduction, followed by another national soldier, if possible, to keep these guys contained for absolute sure. The fact that they still haven't gotten a um, perk that lets them cross the river is really good for me. New police chief boosts security. Well, that's going to be corrupt in a minute. Okay, we'll go back over here. Okay, so we got this under control. That's great. I'm trying to have enough reputation that I can keep these coalition soldiers for at least one more round. I'm going to get the community support and try to just counteract what they're doing. 
um, that is something that needs to be built in every single zone. So that's where having something like the outreach office becomes helpful. Strategic communications gets me that support level back up. Now we're almost at 50% corruption, so I'm very worried about that. A garrison right here doubles up nicely. This is excellent. Very, very good. And we have a couple of stabilized zones. Holy crud, we're actually getting somewhere. I have been trying to do this scenario for a long time. It has been very, very unpleasant for me trying to get this scenario unlocked and beaten. So if we can get it right now, I'm going to be quite happy. But let's not get too complacent because things can go south very, very quickly. Um, I do want to get another national soldier. Like I said, they train fairly quickly. Right now, I think corruption is our primary loss of reputation. These guys want to leave, but we're going to go for a long extension. I can afford it for now. We'll do that over here as well in just a moment. There it is, long extension. But that's all we're going to do, because I don't think I can afford any more than that. But the good news is, with these coalition soldiers, we actually can do something. So maybe I actually want to push forward with the tank. Because it's all terrain, and it can probably win these fights, and we can keep these guys contained even further. All right, with our extra money, what else do we do? Answer, we burn down some of that corruption fast, so I can keep my reputation as high as possible. Lack of stability is still here, but it's almost gone. We're getting a couple of zones to stabilize in just a minute. We do, unfortunately, have to arrest the police chief, which gets rid of the extra security bonus that I liked, but right now we're looking okay, and an extra stable zone is really quite helpful right now. Uh, more corruption reduction would be nice, but I'm instead going to go for more telecoms, because the more we can jump up on this whole extra security, uh, sorry, extra stability and support, the better. I'm not seeing any evidence that they are creating any new camps yet. They probably will soon, but for right now, we're okay. I can actually, believe it or not, move forward one more time. And we will right here and keep these guys under control. Uh, we're gonna threaten to gain some reputation. They're antagonized and that's no good, but oh well. Um, interpreters and guides and stuff would be nice. Stronger garrisons could be nice. I'm holding on to those extra coalition soldiers just in case. I'm gonna pick up the local police expansion, because right now we've got these guys well contained. A new camp will probably spawn somewhere. If we can have our police... Oh, there they are right there, actually. Hang on. If we can have our police quickly stomp on these guys before they have a chance at running rampant, it makes my life easy. But I see this camp. We probably can burn it down nice and quick. Now, we're going to get attacked over here, and that's a problem. I'll need to take that in a second. We prevented any spawns. That's huge. Let's go for the interpreters and guides. Um, I could go for civil integration. Instead, I'm going to go for more national soldiers and just double up on this military advantage. Because we're going to let these guys leave pretty soon. Now, they're still looking fairly strong, all things considered. And remember, my national soldiers aren't very strong. In fact, these tanks are actually losing quite badly. We now need to get airstrikes. All right. A garrison right here is meh, but I'll take it. Unless there's a camp over here. Wait, if they just spawned one right here, there could very well be a camp. We'll do a cover up here. Um, I need to get some reinforcements in a second. Let's do this. Did I get suppressing fire? I did not. Let's go up over here and explore real quick because there might be a camp. If they spawned one right here, there's a chance there's a camp in these forests and I just can't see it yet. What did they just get? The ability to cross rivers? Ah, all right. And now my life just got a lot more complicated. A lot more complicated. Um... People aren't asking for anything else in particular. All I need to focus on at this point, I think, is just military stuff. We can go for civil supports. We can go for just wait for more units. I can go for stronger units. I think we do that. And they're retaking these areas. I can't, I can't do this. The moment I retreat, though, we're going to have a problem. I see no sign of a camp. All right, retreat. Go back over here. Ah, and now we do have to go for the foreign relations office. We are going to be doing the subtle pressure. Um, corruption still hurting, insurgent activity is manageable. Right now we're okay. We should be stabilizing pretty quick. Suppressing fire would be pretty helpful to me. We could go for budget reallocation instead, though, because I have a pretty decent amount of stability and pretty low reputation. So all of a sudden, now this looks a lot nicer to me. I do think we need to pull back, and this was a dumb idea in the mountains, it turns out, after all. So we're going to back up and not fight this. That does create a bunch of new insurgents, which is terrible, but I'd rather deal with that than have two units tied up indefinitely for no particular benefit. At least that is the idea. Uh, more corruption reduction, if you please. I want to keep this under control. Okay, uh, we can go for a national surge. Train two new national soldiers. Very significant increase in corruption. Fine with me. It was not It was, It was a 70% chance of that, and it didn't even happen. This is huge. All these extra units make a huge difference. Huge! 
Let's go for some stronger national soldiers to try and make up for the fact that we made them very weak as the smuggler. The tank is certainly doing a good job, so we're going to go ahead and bring back one zone. Take that out of their control. These guys want to leave. Well, we're going to go ahead and allow that. But we have some units ready to go to reinforce these areas. These guys are going to leave in a minute as well, but I think we're still going to end up being okay. Let's get some additional strength. A, gar a garrison right over here would be nice. Remember, these guys can cross into this zone, though. So don't get too excited. We don't actually have these guys very well contained anymore. It's one of the reasons that it would be very, very nice to have some extra garrisons in these locations. I'm going to go for travel logistics so we can relocate our national soldiers very quickly. And then we're going to go for probably the combat reinforcements with our garrison make them a lot stronger. We should be making a pretty good amount of money right now. Because once again, remember, I have uh, pretty darn good stability, but not great reputation. That budget reallocation in the mid-game is actually quite strong. I'm surprised these guys haven't tried to leave me yet. Now they are. There we go. Go home. It's fine. What else we got here? Um, we can do more subtle pressure. With the extra money we're rolling in right now, let's go for... No one's asking for anything in particular. So let's just go for roads, so we can move really quickly along the rivers if we need to. But yeah, our national soldiers are looking A-OK -okay at this point. Absolutely fine. We're going to cover up once again. You never admit fault unless your odds are extremely against you. And we could start doing civil integration at this point, but considering I need so many units to keep them contained, I'm not even sure that's what we have to do. I would rather go for something like the civil support and use garrisons to start boosting up some support in these areas, for example. What I got over here? Threatened again? Sure. 7% chance that went badly, but it was fine. Alright. Dirt roads, and then, yeah, you know what? Civil assistance it is. Now, we can't actually go for full civil integration in this scenario for some reason. You can only ever go one level. Actually, that just stabilized. We're fine there. So we'll go ahead and try rolling out initiatives over here and speed this up. We could get more nationals, uh, sorry, coalition soldiers if we need to. Another garrison right here in the mountains is great. And hello, camp. We'll take that out nice and quick. Thank you very much. Let's go for a corruption purge. Corruption was still the primary reason for losing reputation, and that's been brought down pretty low, so right now we're okay. So that camp's going to go away, and we can finally stabilize this zone. Uh, honestly, this is this is amazing. I, I really was expecting to have to spend several more hours on this. We got quite lucky with some of the initiatives these guys decided to go with. Quite lucky. Let's go over here and move you here for reinforcements, and the uh, tank... Maybe can start pushing these guys out of the mountains a little bit. They got a new one. All right, now they're hidden. That's annoying. Now we don't know where the insurgents are, but I'm pretty sure they're all going to stay in this mountain. It's just if they pop up another zone, we may not know until all of a sudden we lost control. And that would be frustrating. Now, suppressing fire is not as useful to me anymore because I'm not using any coalition soldiers, so we're going to ignore that. Um, I think instead we're going to go for some heavier ordinances and some drones to try and keep an eye on these guys. If they cross a river, we may not know it. That would, that would admittedly be an issue. I feel confident enough that we can pull these guys over here. The tank is doing exactly what we want it to do. Move you here, move you here. I'm going to try to keep them away from these rivers. Hello, they tried really hard to attack in this direction. Didn't get very far though, did they? Now, we have $50. The money is rolling at this point. Let's go for a democratic transition. Um, I don't care about this anymore. Let's go for more frequent airstrikes. And let's get healthcare and water. Just some basics, I guess. Though, honestly, we have no problem. We're fine. Uh, threaten again? Sure, 18% chance. We're fine. There's camp. And here's some more enemies. All right, remember we have police. So we have no idea how strong they are, but the police could probably do some of the work for us. That said, I'd rather just go ahead and keep pushing them out of here. Let's prioritize elections. Costs a lot of money, but it gets me some reputation. There goes another camp. They're trying to attack me in a few of these zones. It looks to me like they got some pretty good strength, to be honest. A little concerned about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and train up a couple of coalition soldiers, and we're going to use them to get these guys under control. And kill these guys off before they go very far. So one here, one here. We'll fight in these forests. They'll die nice and quick. And that just eliminates a potential threat. Then we go ahead and move in for the kill, I think. On at least a few locations. Because at this point, every zone except for the ones they control is... Um, stable. We're going to go ahead and tighten the rules, I think. That way... Actually, we can go ahead and try to talk now. 
So this means we should be able to completely eliminate insurgents from the game. Though when they spawn a camp, it's going to be really annoying. Full elections, and they did not manage to disrupt. We're back up to 70 reputation. Pretty good. We'll go for suppressing fire, since I now do have some coalition soldiers, and they can actually work well together. These guys are running in a direction I'm not happy with. Well, we'll be able to take care of them soon enough. Let's just get these guys cornered. That clears them all out completely. Perfect. Uh, we will allow for international forces, and now we just start farming out as much reputation as we can to go for maximum score. These guys are going to pull back, but we can now go over here, and we're going to clear this group out. There we go. And there we go. Every insurgent has, at this point, been removed from the game. So, we're looking really good. Now, we just go for the win. Let's go for the subsidies. Let's go for some jobs. I don't care about inflation all that much anymore, to be honest. Insurgents must say that they are sorry. I expect that. I want them to grovel. They are going to hand in all weapons. And if we're quick on this, we can accept a peace deal before they have a chance at spawning a new camp. Imprison them all. And... Accept the peace deal. And if we didn't lose any reputation, which we did not, that means there were no more insurgents on the map and we won. So, like I said, this scenario is really frustrating and hard. I got lucky with this one. These were all manageable perks. Taking out the two camps extremely early on is crucial on this map every single time. But sometimes these perks are impossible to deal with. If they get, for example, the ability to cross a river, reinforce each other, and they split into multiple zones whenever you attack them, then they will just spread across the map and there's no good way to stop them, right? Those kind of combos make this scenario just impossible. So you'll have to keep trying it until you get a combination of perks that are at least manageable. And then you have to play very, very well. 96,000 points is actually a pretty decent score. I'm quite happy with that. It's a good scenario. It's just hard. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.